House Democrats this past week decided to really take the bull by the horns when it comes to gun control. A week after the House had rejected a bill expanding background checks, a House committee uh, on a partisan vote voted for a study commission whose goals clearly are to look at exploring options to expand background checks. When I say the bull by the horns, I'm talking about the gun lobby in this state, which is significant. We're one of the top five in, this, in the country in per, cap, per capita members of the National Rifle Association. We have an assortment of Second Amendment groups that are very focused and very singular-minded. And the House Democratic leadership has decided to poke the bear in the eye. And it'll be really interesting to see in a low turnout election whether they may regret that move. We've seen in the past gun groups like the New Hampshire Firearms Coalition, Gun Owners of New Hampshire, Second Amendment Sisters, all target pro-gun control legislators, mostly Democrats, sometimes Republicans, and even successfully in primaries knocked them off, even for something small as a House seat. Is that likely to happen this year? I'm not sure it is, but it's an interesting gamble the House Democratic leadership has taken. House Speaker Terry Norelli, I think, was disappointed by the decision of the House to reject the background checks bill, wants to keep it on the agenda. She's taken a risk, uh, but she feels strongly about this issue. Going to have fascinating watch to see whether this has election overtones.